What up, YouTube? JT's Reborn here, and welcome to another edition of After the Movie. I did not plan on seeing this movie just right then and now. I kind of am here on an impulse, but I'm about to go see Captain Underpants, the first epic movie. Now, truth be told, I fucking loved Captain Underpants growing up. I had a ton of the books. My mom threw them away when I was got a little bit older, so that's, you know, I was kind of bitter about that. But I'm going into this movie. It's been years. I haven't read them, and... God knows how long, but I'm really looking forward to seeing this. I hope they include the fliparama. And, yeah, I think it'll be good. Because, you know, a lot of animated movies are actually really clever with their humor. So, here's hoping it's good. I'll let you know what I think about it right after this movie. Peace. And what up, YouTube? JT's are born here. I just got done seeing Captain Underpants, the first epic movie. And I gotta tell you, that movie was actually really, really funny. It kind of surprised me, actually. It, very pleasant surprise. I I mean, I went into it, I thought, you know what, it would be pretty good, but it was actually a lot funnier than I thought. Um, growing up, I was a big fan of the Captain Underpants books. I had a ton of them, uh, Dave Pilkey, and I used to love, like, the fliparama and that. Just, like, just the juvenile, like, funny sense of humor that it had. And this movie really captured the essence of that. You know, we have uh, George and Harold. They're nailed pretty well. Kevin Hart and that do a good job playing them. Uh, Ed Helms is really funny as Mr. Krupp slash... <clears throat> I'm sorry, Principal Krupp slash uh, Captain Underpants himself. And, you know, since it had been years since I actually read them, and then just, like, watching this movie, like, I started to flashback. It really hit me with the nostalgia there. Now, granted, there can be, like, just pandering, and then there's, like... But, like, this, I mean... It had its references, but it was just, just a funny, entertaining movie. I really enjoyed Captain Underpants. Um, like I said, the humor is really spot on. Professor Poopy Pants is in it, and that's kind of funny. Like, Nick Kroll voices him. He does a good job. What else? So basically, like, I guess I'll just do a brief plot synopsis. I won't get into spoilers, but if you get the chance to, I really recommend seeing this movie. So, in essence, George and Harold, you know, they write comics like they do in the books, and the principal just he's so sick of them and then he just he decides you know what i'm gonna break up your friendship and he's like just really evil like this guy is just, just just the facial animations and stuff like just the various animations that they go through like to really express like the humor in it is spot on like there's some really funny parts here and he basically wants to separate them and he's just having like the time of his life just ruining these two kids lives and these kids are basically like you know what School's a depressing place. They're there to help prevent insanity by spreading the joys of humor and stuff. You know, they're pranksters, George and Harold. So, Principal Crop just wants to separate them, and they're like, no, we can't do that. And they're like, because like, they get caught one time, and he's like, ha, ah, I have you now. I'm going to separate you two into separate classrooms. And then they use the hypno ring, like in the books, and they snap their fingers, and he becomes Captain Underpants. But he has no superpowers, and he's just acting like an idiot in public without him realizing it. And it's really, really funny. So they have to stop that. And then also Professor Poopy Pants comes in, and he wants to take over... The, well, he doesn't necessarily want to take over the world. He wants to, like, end the world's laughter because people laugh when they hear his name. Because his name is Peep Peep Poop Poop in my pants, Professor Poopy Pants. So... <laughs> He decides, you know what, I'm going to rid the world of laughter, and that's pretty much the gist of it. Like I said, Nick Kroll is really funny. Kevin Hart and, uh, I can't remember the other actor who plays, uh, Harold. Like, th those two just work really, really well together. I mean, these two kids, like, they're so likable. And there's so many funny jokes. Like, there's a funny joke about Professor Poopy Pants making fun of, like, the teachers and their salary, and I couldn't stop laughing, and then, like, the other really funny part was, like, when George and that brought up, like, marriage, there's a joke about marriage, and, like, your parents just aren't happy like that, they don't like, like, each other because they're married, <laughs> I mean, I was laughing a lot during this movie, and I think I was, like, one of only, like, three people in there, but, yeah, I mean, I had a really good time with it, um, I think you should go out and see it, I don't really want to say anything else, but, Captain Underpants is really, really good, and I'm very glad that I saw it. So, thanks for watching this very short review, but I don't have any complaints about it. It's a good length, it's clever, it's funny, it's witty, it captures the spirit of the comic book, and good animation. Good work, DreamWorks. Good work. So, thanks for watching, everybody, and have a nice day.